In this session, I'm gonna integrate a great debugging tool with React Native project, with our project. This debugging tool called Reactron. So in Google, just search for React Native Reactron. And select this first option. Now let's scroll down. Here is our Reactron app to the left here. Let's scroll down and let's press on this React Native. So let's press here. Now here's the docs of Reactron. Let's press on download the desktop app here. Now we want to download this app. This are just a source code. Let's scroll down until you get the version with many assets. This version, Reactron app 3.7.7. .7. You got here 14 assets. I'm using Mac. I'm gonna select this option, Reactron ARM64.dmg. Now the app is downloading. Now our app got downloaded. Let's install it. So let's double click. Let's move it to applications. And now we got our app here, React to Troll. Let's open it. Here is our React to Troll app. Now let's integrate this React Throne with our React Native app. So let's go back to documentations and let's scroll down. First, we need to install this package. Yarn add React Throne React Native dash D to install it in the dev mode. Okay, so let's go back to our project, our ShadowApp project and inside our terminal, just paste this command. Yarn add React Throne React Native. Then we need to create this file. Reactron config.js. So let's copy this name and let's create this file in the root folder. So here, let's create a new file and put with this name Reactron config. I just copied it from here and just easily paste this inside it. So let's press here to copy and paste it here like this. Now let's scroll down and finally add. Reactron to my app. So we can add it in app.js or index.js, but I prefer to add it in index.js. So let's copy this two lines also, three lines. Let's copy them and let's go here and go in index.js and let's paste those commands here at the top here, like this. If dev required Reactron config. Now let's see if we got anything else. Now we need to refresh our app and start our app again. And we need to see this connection. So let's go to our app. Let's close our Metro Bundler and run yarn start. Then let's run yarn both to run Android and iOS and see. Now built successful in Android. See, now let's see our Android app and let's see our Reactron app. You're gonna notice here one connection. And if you press here, you're gonna see React Native app and the Android icon. And if you press here in timeline, you're gonna see here connection, okay? Now we are connected with Android. Let's wait until iOS also is done to connect our iOS app with Reactron also. Now our app is running. And if you notice here, we got here two connections. Here is for Android and this is for iOS. And we got here also connection. Now let's try to log something. So let's, for example, go to our chat screen and let's try to log anything. For example, console.log, hello, reactron. Now let's press save and see our reactron. Look, we got here the log, hello, reactron.